racing Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. Uh, we just hope for the best. And now, let's go to the track. We survived the night. <clears throat> Weather looks cloudy. Uh, it rained all last night. So definitely the track's gonna be wet. Start off the morning. Hopefully the sun comes out and dries it off. I'm waiting on me go, like always. We haven't done any of the tech. If you guys know this tech, it's never easy. For some reason, year after year, they change their mind. Event after event, they may change their mind. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. All right. All right. So usually, I do the surprises. And... Frank War Champion. Yeah. I, I'm the one that does the surprises. and Miguel's gifts and Miguel here. And then Miguel's the one that ends up usually, you know, tearing up, crying for no reason. And then he can't open the knife correctly, so he, oh, 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 he got me that, a present. Is that the only thing? He got me a present. Well, got like I a don't know present. what it is. Y'all just gonna have to decide. That's, that's a team present. It's gonna be my present. Sorry, Farshad. Yeah, you can hold it. Yeah. There so, hold it. Let's see what it is. I did great in my Facebook Live. Dude, look at this. Look at this hazard. <laughs> All right. I'll edit that out. I, they're crying. Start crying. Let's see some tears. I want to see tears. It's okay. It's completely normal. Oh, this is fucking nice. Quincy didn't build out one play. I didn't have to build it for him. I appreciate it. Thank you. Credit's hard to them. Like Kelly. Thank you. She customized it. We got a hook in the back. No hook in the hole. Yeah, well, that hook holds it. That's nice. Thank you. I appreciate this. Hands down. Farshad is going home with me. It's okay, Farshad doesn't watch the videos yeah, anyway. Yeah, that's true. You don't watch the videos anyway. You haven't even subscribed. Thanks. <laughs> Please like, subscribe, and share, guys. We're trying to get to 300 by the end of uh, 2020. We got a year to get 150. So give us, let's get there. I don't know how many, I don't know how many we're, our, we don't have a goal of how many we want. We just want to get the word out about carding and come and join us and hang out at the track and have a blast. Yep. Thanks guys. Right now we're going to be hanging out because it's raining. So. We'll see you. So, as you can see today, the day is over. Rained out. Gabe Rubens, Rubens Sr. got on track. One lap. El mio está, yo estoy perfecto. One lap. Dad made burgers. We're here at the... Uh, there, get it, hold up. What are we going to call this one? Right? Pump pound, baby. Okay. Thank you. We called it. We thought he charged the truck. This is the Marriott. We stepped it up. I think that's one we should be Marriott right here. That's my driver. Racing. Playing. One way or another. One way or another is racing happening. We're having a good time. Everybody's here. It's all happening, baby. Everything's going down tomorrow. We're hoping for a good, clear day so we can all get on track and kill it. And by the way, it took me four times to yeah. pass through tech, but I made it through tech. <laughs> Thank you, WK. So another day. And last night, it rained like crazy. Uh, this morning, um, the, the track is wet. So I'm pretty sure 8 o'clock practice won't start at 8 o'clock. We're going to try to squeeze in. At least three practices, but if they can't, they just try to squeeze in two. Uh, to my right, the sun has poked its eyes out for the first time this weekend. Except just right next to it, there's a massive rain cloud. So we're going to hope it misses us. So we need the track dry and we'll get some racing done today. Uh, we'll hope for the best. If not, we'll wait it out. And uh, we'll still have a good time.
but we're hoping for some racing. Definitely some racing. So we finally made it on track. You can see how pumped up we are. Uh, here we go, we're going on practice. There is a ton and ton of carts on track at the same time, but a whole bunch of classes for practice. So we're trying to get out of the way pits cleanly, but since this is the first practice after a couple days of waiting, people get excited, slight mistakes are made, and of course an accident happens right on pit road. Uh, thankfully nobody was injured, nothing major. Once on track, I found myself with Shelby. Uh, trying to get away from the pack. It's, as you can see, leaving the pits, a lot of people were there. So we're just here chugging along, trying to break up some packs so we don't get tangled up in any accidents. Uh, checking out how the track is, how green it is, since there's been no racing, no rubber down. Uh, as you can tell from this angle, she gets extremely loose in front of me. A good correction could say by her. So we hook up and get moving down. You're going to see her. She going to point out to the right in road racing. You want to let people know which way you're going, which way you're pointing, if you're going to make a pass or not. Uh, due to the fact that there are other classes on track and they are pulling speeds of well over 100 miles an hour and we are chugging along at 72, 73 miles an hour, sometimes 74. So you want to let the individuals know which way you're going, which way you're going to pass. Like you see on the right, that guy flew by us. So if we just jump out nowhere to the right, don't let him know he could collect us. I wanted to show this angle because the 175 blew by me going to turn two because I was not sending it and just seeing his line the first time he went around, I knew turn two was basically flat out. Uh, after that, I picked up my pace and I was like, I gotta chase this guy down because he was moving. Uh, yes, he was the one at the beginning of the video. He did a complete 360, got, <laughs> got back going straight again and was able to catch the uh, the lead pack when the red flag came out for the finals. Uh, crazy quick guy. Uh, super fun following him around the track. Uh, learned a lot in just a short amount of time. Uh, they had warned us about pushing and bumping, so when this happens, a lot of fanning out starts and we start bunching back up. And people fan out left and right. Uh, makes you feel a little uneasy, so I found myself the number 300 latched onto his bumper and pushed him away from the group so we can break up into small groups again. Uh, I think it's a, a little bit safer. You'll see later in the video what I mean about fanning out. And remember when I talked about carts going a lot faster than we are. Uh, this is going to be an awesome shot. Uh, we're down the apron and then two guys, the 300 and the 175, I apologize, I don't know your name. Just look at that view, looking up on the banking, that is freaking awesome. Uh, one of the only places that you can see this is in uh, road racing in Daytona. Uh, you'll see later in the video the banking, the steep angle, it's just insane. I thought this was awesome. So I received the checker flag on the back stretch, uh, made sure it was clear, moved up to the top, and then rode the wall. Uh, this is something that you have to experience. If you have done road racing, give it a shot. It's just a blast. Uh, of course, I had to do it for Dale. Throw the three up uh, to the man, the intimidator. Uh, I think this was just once in a lifetime experience. You got to do it. If you haven't done it, give it a shot. Day two is over. Uh, I got one Never practice session in. One practice session. In two days, one practice session. Dang, I should have brought my uh, boots too. Of course, we got yelled at for pushing for some reason. Every time. Every time you go out there. Because they say, they for say, some reason. We're like say, grown men. Yeah. We're in trouble. They say pushing is dangerous. I'm pretty uh, great. I, I, could, I could see want. that in like the lay down class, the tag class. Dude, cycle really don't 
Now, two six. We can't hit top speed without a little bump bump. So, no racing for us. Tomorrow, we'll try again. Uh, it's not being the night, it's the rain. We'll try again at Rubens. <laughs> I am done trying. And uh, <laughs> uh, I'll help out the guys and uh, hopefully we get some good footage on Miguel's car. Uh, we're going to go see some dirt racing tonight. Those bars are still going at it. The sprint track still going at it. So uh, hopefully we get to see some racing or something good happen. Or not, we're going to play some more NASCAR. Or not, NASCAR <laughs> it is. So good morning, guys. This is the final day, Monday. Um, weather last night looked pretty good. Today, as you see in the background, there are some clouds, but it doesn't look too bad. The track looks good enough to go on track, so they're going to let practice group run go real quick. Um, I will not be racing any today. Uh, it's going to be Miguel, Dad, Ruben, Junior, Senior, Scott, John, the whole crew. Um, I'm going to take a day off. <laughs> Rest and relax and enjoy the good racing. But I'll give you some good footage if everybody's able to go on track. Hopefully the weather holds up. Uh, we're hoping for the best. We'll try and get some track time today. Have a good one. So practice session of the day. Miguel helping out dad. Dad, he hasn't learned his lesson that dad doesn't want any help. He just wants to be left alone. But it's a good father and son moment on track. All three of us have been on track at the same time. A pretty cool experience so you can see the track still pretty damp as the first session uh, check out the grips people are going around I just told him stay clean here we go Shelby and Quincy on the outside daughter and father duo there that was pretty cool to see as well I think Miguel has Rubens behind him Coming up is an extremely close call. Our buddy Steve's clutch fell apart, locked up the rear tires, and he went around. And Miguel almost said hello and added some blue paint to his car. <laughs> that, that was a close call, but uh, super happy that nothing bad happened in the end. Rubens and Miguel were working well together. Uh, I gotta tell, tell Rubens stop sending it due to the fact that when he does, he makes slight mistakes at times. Uh, here, he gets a little squirrely, makes a last minute ditch effort to save it. Uh, smart move to just forget the corner and save the cart. 90 heavy. And the mini mouse death trap. Should be a good one. We got Steve. Southern Car Club. You'll be quick. Three, three, one's the one to watch out. Good luck to both of them. So, the time has come. This is it. The final race. The first and last. We will be starting dead last. We're gonna see if we can make it up to the front. The time has been cut down from 30 minutes to 15 minutes. Practice went well. We pulled some quick lap times. So we're gonna see what can happen next. We have the super special gear on, and it's gonna be in full send mode. About 15 minutes is about 
for us four laps, maybe five laps. I don't think they will see fifth lap. Maybe about four laps. And they'll probably get the checkered on lap five. Um, it's going to be difficult, but he can do it. He can. Well, guys, moment of truth. Everybody's lined up. And there's a tour of 85 carts about to be on track at one time. Separate between three different classes. Insane. LL206 has 44 classes themselves. I'm about to take a long walk down pit road. Checking out all these carts. Insane. You guys ever thought about road racing? This is where you come and do it. You'll be inches, bump the bumper, 70 mile an hour plus. Inches away from the ground. Three wide, four wide. <laughs> I don't know how wide it's gonna get. And this is where the 206s start, right here. Like I said, this is by far the biggest class in the field. Insane how many carts there are in. We're about to get here towards the back. We're about to get here towards the back. Don't push it a lot with that. No. <laughs> oh, man. As you guys know, you know how I feel about drafting and pushing. I think it's much safer if they hook up and go other individuals don't feel that way it's the rule let's just see how fair everybody plays and how accurate and how strict they really are So uh, they red flagged the race. Um, small accident. Everybody's okay though. So everybody's everybody's good though. Uh, there was an accident in the track, so they red flagged the race. Everybody's fine. Um, Miguel, I don't know where he was at. He came up pretty quick to the field. Uh, Rubens did as well. There's a couple of accidents in front of him. Uh, we don't have any GoPro video because Miguel lost the GoPro. There's gonna be a, it's gonna be a video of I'm hitting it. A little bit of straightaway, Dyson, and you will watch it fall and my hand grab it. I made an effort yeah, to grab it. No, I've seen that. I've seen that. And then uh, we'll see what they do with all the uh, supposedly penalties for pushing. Uh, the top five definitely hooked up and went, so we'll see. I don't expect that. We go. He's sobbing over here because he lost his GoPro on track. <laughs> I had it too. I yeah. grabbed it like this. I had it like that. I was grabbing. It. It slipped right in my hand. So uh, all the racing's over. Miguel start 40th, ended uh, 16th. 
Uh, we don't know the final results at the moment. There's still going protests and stuff's going on. Um, <coughs> hopefully we'll see where he really ends up in the end and what penalties are handed out. Yeah, no. Uh, thanks for watching. It was a good weekend in the end. Good racing for these guys. And hopefully we'll get some video if we find Miguel's GoPro. When you get race and you want to race, Wind tunnel testing. Step a little string.